Hi there, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today I'm going to review the new crochet granny square yarn that's making its way around the internet. It's a self-striping yarn that has automatic color changes for each round of the granny square. With this yarn, they give you a predefined amount of each color, so you won't have to weave in the ends for every color change. You will, however, need to use their instructions and follow their exact pattern for the granny square. I want to point out I got my yarn independently and am not associated with the manufacturer. So I start with the required number of chain stitches and first round of the granny square. And as with planned pulling with crochet, anytime you have a certain length of color to work with, it's not always going to come out exactly on the first try. As you can see here, I need more green yarn, but the blue yarn is already starting. So I have to rip out my work and start again, this time with a smaller hook size, like a size H5 millimeter. I try this process again, this time with a smaller hook. And unfortunately, I still end up with some blue yarn creeping into the first round of my granny square. So I try again, this time with a size G 4 millimeter crochet hook. And once again, I still have blue where it doesn't belong. Eventually, I tighten up my yarn tension with my left hand and manage to get the blue yarn to start where it's supposed to for the second round of the granny square. And I'm all happy with myself that I got the second round to work out perfectly on the first attempt. So I'm thinking the rest of the rounds should be a piece of cake. Oh no, that streak of luck did not last very long. As you can see, the light seafoam green yarn from the next round is already starting. So I ripped this round halfway out and tried to increase my tension a bit. Eventually I got it to work. So on to the next round, which is the seafoam green color. I thought I had the correct tension finally worked out, but I kept getting the white yarn appearing right on the last set of stitches. Must admit I actually got really frustrated at one point, so my husband suggested I just paint that little bit of white yarn with green paint just to get through this video. Now I would never do something like that, would I? So the final round consisted of the white color, which I did manage to get through. So does the yarn do what it's supposed to? Yes, it absolutely changes color so you don't have to weave in all of those ends. Is it easy to work with? Well, I guess if you have absolutely perfect tension and a lot of patience, it does. And that's my review of the new granny yarn.